What's going on guys, I'm Francis Bo here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on anything going on in the world of entertainment. And today I'm going to be recapping on all the other Super Bowl uh, trailers that, slash TV spots that I have not covered. Um, the reason why I didn't, you know, go right ahead after I posted my Han Solo trailer to um, do this video is because I wanted to give time for all the other videos that I posted. I was posting so many videos on Sunday um, and of course on Monday as well. Um, so I just wanted to give some time, about a, roughly a day or so, so you guys can watch those videos. Um, but now here, I'm going to be talking about all the other Super Bowl trailers and TV spots that I have not covered yet. And give you guys my small, quick thoughts on them. Because quite frankly, I don't have a whole lot of thoughts with these ones. Um, but I still want to talk about them because some people are wanting to hear my thoughts on them. So, um, but yeah, let's talk about the Super Bowl TV spots and trailers that I've missed. And tell you guys how I felt about them. So let's get started with... Red Sparrow. I have not talked about Red Sparrow at all on my channel. Um, mainly because, uh, I gotta be honest, uh, the first trailer for Red Sparrow didn't really grab me. Um, I know a lot of people are very curious to see how this movie is going to play out. Um, but I gotta say, the, the newer trailer that came out um, a couple days ago, followed up with this TV spot, it gets me more interested for this film. Um, I love Jennifer Lawrence as an actress. I think she's great. Um, and I love Joel Egerton as well. Um, I really like the concept as well about, you know, um, these women being trained, um, basically like spies or um, like assassins. And um, they're using their bodies as their, as their way to attract um, men and such. Um, I think that that's a really interesting concept. Um, the way they'll execute it though, hopefully it's, it's, hopefully it's really good. And yes... It does look like a Black Widow movie. It, I'm sorry. I don't care what the director is saying right now about how different it is compared to a Black Widow movie. I'm sorry, but this looks like a Black Widow movie to me. If Scarlett Johansson was in this movie, then I would have said that this was a Black Widow movie because it really, really feels like a Black Widow movie. Um, but still very intrigued, though. I'm still very, very intrigued to see how this is all going to play out. And yeah, so I'm very interested for Red Sparrow. It comes out in March, so I'm pretty interested to see how Red Sparrow ends up being when it comes out. Now a film I know I'm very excited to see is A Quiet Place. Yes, uh, there was a TV spot that came out for A Quiet Place. And um, I'm still very, very interested and very, very excited for this movie because I really, really love this concept of the characters not being able to speak or else there will be consequences when they speak. Um, I think that that is a great idea for a horror film, and I am crossing my fingers that this film ends up being good. I do not want it to end up being a bad movie. I want this movie to be good. I'm crossing my fingers very, very hard for this one because I this movie could end up being bad. Let's just put that out there. This movie could not end up being bad, but based from that first trailer that we got and followed up by this TV spot, I think this could end up being good, but I'm just crossing my fingers. Just really, really crossing my fingers. I really, really hope it ends up being good. Um, uh, Emily Blunt looks great. Um, John Kransky, I think that's how you say his name, the husband of Emily Blunt. Um, he's directing this film while also starring in it. Um, I'm just, again, really, really hoping it's good. Really, really hope it's good. Um, comes out in April, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for A Quiet Place. Cannot wait to watch that. And, um, no, I do not believe the rumors that this is a Cloverfield movie. And if it ends up being a Cloverfield movie, I'm going to be very, very disappointed and very, very sad. Kind of like a certain Cloverfield film that we just got a few days ago. Check out my review if you guys are wondering how I felt about the Cloverfield Paradox. And lastly, the one that I think that, um, some people were wondering my thoughts on were, was Skyscraper. Um, the new Dwayne Johnson film... Um, I remember hearing some buzz about it, and um, when I heard the plot of it, I was intrigued. Um, but then after watching the trailer, I it looks like San Andreas 2.0 to me. Um, I know some people are optimistic about it, and that's good. But for me, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of San Andreas, and um, it just looks like another Dwayne Johnson film. Not to say that it's not going to be fun in the sense of the action, but I think it's just going to be your typical action flick, you know? Um, probably just a, another B movie. Um, but I was really hoping it could have been like a drama. Like I, was, I thought maybe this could be a drama piece, like 
um, you know, with Dwayne Johnson and have it set in like a deep water horizon type of tone. I think that that would have been more interesting than what we got from the trailer. Um, but still, I'll, I probably am pro probably going to pass on this um, when it comes out in theaters. Um, just because I just didn't really care to go see San Andreas in the theaters and I watched it on Blu-ray and ended up saying meh. So most likely, um, it's, this movie's probably going to get the same reception as San Andreas did. And I think the director of San Andreas is directing this film, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Skyscraper. And those are pretty much my thoughts on all the Super Bowl TV spots that came out, and also the trailers as well. Um, overall, the Super Bowl this year was actually pretty good in terms of trailers. Um, the ones that stood out for me were the Infinity War trailer, the TV spot, and of course my favorite one of, out of all of them were the Mission, was the Mission Impossible Fallout trailer. I thought that one was the best one, in my opinion. Um, the... Big shocker one, obviously, was, you know, the Cloverfield Paradox um, being released on S Super Bowl. And uh, you guys can go check out my review for the Cloverfield Paradox. Eh. <laughs> um, go watch it. You'll, go watch my review. Um, but um, surprisingly, no Deadpool 2 TV spot. Kind of surprised they didn't show anything for Deadpool 2. Um, and really surprised, no trailers for A Wrinkle in Time or The Incredibles 2. I thought that they would show off some more footage for that, especially a wrinkle in time. I was actually kind of surprised. But, um, but yeah, Super Bowl in terms of TV spots and trailers, pretty darn good. And also the Eagles won the Super Bowl, so that's a plus. And that is pretty much my thoughts on the Super Bowl of 2018. That's pretty much all of my coverage. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys let me know, what were your favorite trailers slash TV spots for this year's Super Bowl? Are you happy that the Eagles won like I, like I am? Uh, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And that is it for my uh, last coverage for the Super Bowl of 2018 in terms of trailers and TV spots. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as we end these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.